Hello everyone and welcome back to Channel Dad Brian Lape Reads and here we're going to have a, something to help you with your life and the simple Dutch cure for stress. I'm not going to try to, to pronounce that even, I speak a little bit of Dutch, very little, very little, ut, ut, what, I, I, weyen, ut, weyen, ut weyen, I don't know. It's a popular activity around Amsterdam uh, who believed to have, who one believed to have important psychological benefits. Oh, are they smoking hash? <laughs> In uh, 2019. Okay, so this is by uh, Alice uh, Flea Rackers uh, uh, from uh, Pocketworthy. This is getpocket.com. It's important to say all those words so that uh, the algorithms pick up on it. In 2019, I was in San Francisco, a city known for its tech companies, steep hills and fierce winds and poop on the street. Each day, I'd run around the neighborhood and go up through the park, ending with a spectacular view of the Golden Gate Bridge. Back in my Airbnb, I'd feel energized, refreshed, fingers tingling from the breeze. I was cold, exhausting, but completely exhilarating. It was, not I was. As it turned out, there's a unique term for the Dutch, from the Dutch for this sort of pastime. In the Netherlands, people have been seeking out windy exercise for more than 100 years. Oh, okay. Uh, today, the practice is so common that it's uh, known as whatever. It literally translates to outblowing. So if you if you know Dutch, please let me know how to say that word properly. Explains Caitlin Meyer, a lecturer at the University of Amsterdam's Department of Dutch Linguistics. It's basically the activity of spending time in the wind, usually by doing uh, going for a walk or a bike ride. Yeah, and Holland being quite flat, bike rides are very popular. Uh, Meyer... Um, has lived in the Netherlands for more than 20 years. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> and has kind of specialized in, in the language despite being a non-native speaker. Oh, okay. It's a popular activity where she lives. One believed to have important psychological benefits. Uh, is something you do to clear your mind? Oh, yeah, I feel refreshed. Is this like jumping in cold water? Kind of has the same effect. It's seen as a pleasant, easy, and relaxing experience. A way to de-stress or escape. Escape from daily life. So open the calendar app. And, okay, well, whatever. I don't know they speak a Dutch. Let me know. A glowing number of evidence suggests that Dutch speakers may be onto something. Pretty well every group of people benefits from outdoor, uh, being outdoors in the presence of nature. Uh, except uh, during now this time, during you know the, the governments want us to stay indoors and not, you know, not a uh, bunch of morons. It takes us out of the stresses and anxieties of the rest of life. Over the last 15 years, he's explored who? He who I skipped over who this was, Jules uh, Preddy, uh, how a range of outdoor activities uh, affect human psychology, including walking, cycling, and even farming. This is why I think why gardening is so relaxing. Even finding that people uh, from all walks of life can increase their well-being after spending as little as five minutes amid natural select. Yeah, see, the concrete jungle is killing people, literally, with positive impacts on a sense of self-worth, mood, and sense of identity. Other researchers have found similar results linking activities like nature walks, reduced levels of depression, perceived stress, and negative emotions. Some researchers uh, research goes even further, reporting that walking in nature can help reduce headaches, improve immune function, duh. And even in the case of the most famous forest bathing studies, increase anti-cancer pro uh, protein production. Oh, that's interesting. Anti-protein. Uh, in the case of the famous forest bathing studies. I don't know what forest bathing means. But anyways, while research uh, into the benefits of waterscapes isn't a uh, well-established evidence suggests these blue spaces may be e uh, equally or perhaps even more beneficial to mental well-being. For example, people who live closer to the coast, like many Nederlanders, do report a better physiology, a physical and physi physi phys ugh, physiological health than those further inland. Yep. Uh, let's keep going. There are lots of theories about why spending time in nature. Maybe because we're made to be in nature. We're not made to be in a high-rise building. Like uh, King Lin, I guess. King Lin, a s physician at Nippon Medical School Hospital and the president of the Japanese Society of Forest Medicine. I believe the answer may literally be blowing in the wind. Um, well, the wind does tend to have some, uh, quite a few properties, especially the cooling wind. You tend to get uh, different ion flows, you, especially if it's like preceding a rainstorm, you could have free, uh, freon. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not freon. But anyway, it's uh, um, ozone in there that can help uh, alleviate stress. He and his team have spent years studying the effects of phytocides, phyton, phytoncides, and 
antibacterial and antimicrobial substances that trees and other plants release into the air uh, to help them fight diseases and harmful organisms. When humans breathe in these substances, typically by spending time in nature, well, no kidding, uh, their health can improve. Uh, other studies, uh, I guess that's phytoncide, phytoncides, may have, show, uh, have shown to boost immune function, increase anti-cancer protein production, reduce stress. Again, spending time in nature because that's what we're created to do. Um, pretty attrib attributes, <laughs> pretty attributes. Pretty is, it is a noun here, not an adjective. Um, the attributes the restorative power of nature, uh, natural spaces to their immense quality, Im immersive quality. I can't even read. Um, he tells that activities like watching uh, shorebirds or collecting seashells on the beach can really be really engaging. Yeah, get us out. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, being a difficult to translate word may be perfectly suited to the task, one of the main functions of language. Okay, but we're back to if it's untranslatable, then we don't have a word for it in, in English, do we? Um, it can be a challenge, of course, even though I think it's, uh, very, very useful for people to engage with work. Okay. Now we're back to talking about what to call it. Um, go out at lunchtime and take a break, park a little further away from the office and walk for five minutes. Well, of course, how old is this? Cause we're not allowed to go to work anymore. I have no idea. <laughs> so it does. Wait a minute. Is there a buy? Okay, there's a photo. And there isn't a date on this. Well, I, you know, this is awesome though, but, um, yeah, so even though, even if you're stuck at home and you're working, go outside, especially when it's nice, go eat lunch outside, go walk your dog, uh, walk around your neighborhood, go walk in the woods for 15 minutes, get away from the computer and uh, and enjoy the, the healing aspects of nature. It's what we were created to be a part of. We are not created to be in a concrete jungle and we are not, and our immune system is actually, when we don't have it... Um, we're not exposed to things. Our immune system actually gets worse. So exact opposite of what all the government nonsense is telling you to do. So there you go. Uh, if you, um, I'll put the link in the description. If you want to check it out, let me know. Thank you and goodbye. That was absolutely weird. Yeah. A little bit more feedback there. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> three, two, one.